Play to Potential podcast. So let me give an example. When I was, I guess, 10, 9, uh, 10, 12 years old, I still remember the instances. There were several times my mother said, well, David, the trouble is you're just lazy. Mm. Uh, turned out to be a very destructive comment because I said, that's who I am. And I said to myself, gee, if I don't work hard, I'm going to end up on the streets. And I saw myself as a lazy person had to overcome it. Well, anybody who knows me knows I'm constantly working. Mm. So that was a label. And when we label kids, they take it in as who they are. Now, if she would have said, you ha you're having a hard time getting your homework done on time, that's a behavior. Hmm. Then we could have done something. So I think we have to be careful about labeling. The other thing is we have to legitimize their feelings. Hmm. So I have a story in which I'm not proud about, but I think it's very uh, revealing. When my son was about four years old, five years old, he went down a slide and hit the back of his head and the edge of the slide. I was crying. I rushed over and I said, oh, Jeffrey, you're not hurt. And with tears running down his face, he said, how do you know how I feel? Only I know how I feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he had me. He was right. This is your host, Deepak Jairaman. My guest this time is David Bradford. David has been teaching the landmark Interpersonal Dynamics course in Stanford for over 50 years. He's distilled some of his learnings and insight from these five decades in a recently published book titled Connect, Building Exceptional Relationships with Family, Friends and Colleagues. It's always a pleasure to speak to somebody who spent decades honing a certain craft. The audio quality in the conversation is a little so-so, but I hope you'll be able to look past that to reflect on some of the wisdom that he shares. We start with discussing the six markers of an exceptional relationship. Then we move on to talking about the criticality of the right language. Then we talk about the notion of crossing the net, something that's possibly at the root of a large part of the misunderstanding between humans. This is one of those things that's so simple and can have such a transformational impact on our lives if we can apply it consistently. We then talk about how we can build the interpersonal muscle with kids and the right kind of vulnerability that we should consider showing at our workplace. This conversation could be valuable to anybody who deals with other people in their lives, which pretty much makes it all of us. It's such a relevant topic for all of us and there's so much nuance in every aspect of interpersonal relationships. David, with his decades of experience, brings a lot of nuance and subtlety that I found really, really valuable. Some of the distinctions that he makes are really clarifying. I hope you find the conversation as valuable as I did. <laughs> 